Hi everyone, welcome back to another Iron Man progress video. Kicking things off with a mining level that is going to be 93, so six left to go until 99, 22, 58 total level as well. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Randomly decided to do the In Search of Knowledge mini quest as it's the very last one that I needed to complete. So I thought just for neatness, it'd be nice to have everything in green. I ended up going to Seracnus for the pages and got four giant egg sacks, which is kind of nice because I'm running low on red spider's eggs. I think I can just use these on Legosia. And I believe you get an XP lamp. So I think it's just 10k XP, which isn't much, but better than nothing. I didn't realize, but I've just hit 400 million XP on the account, which is quite a nice little milestone. I'm running very low on death runes, and whilst I could buy some, I thought I would head back to Barrows for a bit, just for a bit of fun. Um, I'm only missing a few items on the collection log. Uh, there are a lot that I'm missing, but in actuality, I just need the Guthans plate body and spear, the Darox axe and the Torag's hammers. Obviously it'd be nice to fill out some of these other slots as well. Don't know how many chests I'll do, but just see if I can get any new items um, for a bit of fun until we've stocked up on some death runes. Got an elite clue on the very first chest, what can we get? Nothing. That is, however, 150 elite clues done, so 50 more until I get the giant chest, which would be very cool. Ah, messed up the recording, had another elite, and it was also trash. The elites are absolutely flying in, what can we get from this one? Not much. Well, there is an item at last. It's a Darox Helm, which I already have, and it's already on the collection log, so that's a shame. It finally happened after all of my giant seaweed runs trying for the farming pet. I've hit 100,000 giant seaweed, which is absolutely ridiculous. It's worth over 30 mil. The wiki says that the average yield for one seaweed spore is between 15 to 32. So if I got like an average of 20 let's say uh, giant seaweed that puts me at 5,000 seeds used it might be more or less than that it's, it's hard to say but that is exactly on rate for the pet just from giant seaweed which is pretty ridiculous I'm up to 43.7 mil farming XP now oh another item and it's actually a new one on the collection log so I have had it before but not since the collection log came out Someone in the uh, comment section of the last video suggested I turn on this plugin. I think it's quite handy, especially for a lot of older content where, you know, I've done it in the past before the collection all came out, but then having to double check every time to see if I've got a new item. So that's kind of cool. Another elite clue for nothing. Oh, a <laughs> wow, a double chest, two Varax pieces. Obviously don't need either of those and uh, nothing new on the collection log either, but that's cool. I actually can't remember if I've ever had a double chest. I've always wanted a triple, definitely not had one of those on this account, but ah, that's cool to see. Picking up another bottomless compost bucket at Hespori. I'm still doing these as often as I can for the pet chance, but uh, yeah, I think that's number three. All right, well, I think that is enough barriers for now. That takes me up to 10K death runes and a full trident. Got a couple of collection log slots filled. No new uniques though, which is a shame, but it can always come back at some point. Another bottomless compost bucket. I'm pretty sure this is my fourth one overall. Um, yeah, that can't have been too long after the last one. I can't remember the exact KC, but yeah, kind of cool to see. Good luck, good luck. Oh my God, I got a purple. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That is actually hilarious. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna open it. Ah, oh, it's an oh. arcane. Well, that's cool. Um, that's the first item I've had in a very long time. I'm not going to complain because, yeah, I've had three items in 81 KC now, so <laughs> that's ridiculous. Got myself an elite clue from Vorkath. What can we get? Yeah, that's pretty trash. Up to 154 elite clues done now. The clan chat that I'm in is doing like a boss of the week kind of thing, Vorkath and Zora. So I'm going to be doing a bit of both of those bosses. Uh, from Vorkath, I would like to get some more Dragon Bolts because I've run pretty low on those and they're kind of nice to use for Sarodome and God Wars. And Zora, uh, I'd kind of like a mutagen actually. That would be kind of cool. Um, but always good for the elite clues as well because I'm still going for 200 overall for the uh, big chest thing that you can wield. So yeah, let's see if we can get any unique drops. Another elite. Ah, 
ornament kit. I've had that before, but it's a new one for the log. Another elite clue from Zora this time, not Vorkath. What can we get? Ooh, ooh, that is really cool. I think that might be the rarest dragon mask you can get. <laughs> that is actually awesome. I'm going to check how rare that is because I I think that is probably the rarest one. So it turns out this is actually on the mega rare table. So this has the same chance of being dropped as a gilded piece. Um, I am really chuffed with that. I think that's probably cooler than a piece of gilded if I'm being perfectly honest. I wonder how many Iron Men have that. Ah, that is awesome. 2,200 kills here at Zora. Still only ever seen the one at Tanzanite Fang. And that was before the collection log ever came out. So it would be nice to get another one at some point to fill that out. But uh, yeah, nice little milestone. Found a lucky impling. What can we get? <laughs> Dragon Mace. Fair enough. 94 runecrafting coming in. Five levels left to go. Got an elite clue from Sarah God Wars. What can we get? Not much. Another runecrafting level coming in. That is 95. So four levels left to go until 99. And 17 levels overall left to go until max. Figured I would come and try out the new Temporos boss and I got my first unique being the fish barrel. Um, it's only a couple of days, well one day actually after it's been released. Uh, this is post buff. Um, initially the rewards were a little underwhelming but they have upped the um, amount of fish that you get and the rarity of the fish. Uh, my first soap pages as well. Um, yeah, I figured I would just come here, try it out. It's kind of fun. I do um, kind of regret not waiting to get 99 fishing because I think this would have been a very fun way to do it. But um, I think what I might try and do is uh, get the amount of fish that you need to enchant a liar, which is 200 manta rays, sea turtles, sharks, and I believe bass as well. And the only other way to have gotten the fish in the past would have been um, doing fishing trawler, which I definitely would have done. Um, but yeah, this might be kind of fun just to do for a little bit, maybe get the uh, Tome of Water, we shall see, but uh, picking up my first couple of uniques. Hey, picking up another unique item at Tempros, that is the Tackle Box. That's a pretty cool item that's going to save me some bank space. You can put all of the uh, fishing rods and bait inside that. Um, so that's pretty cool. Not going to have a huge amount of use for me, but yeah, something that will save some bank space, which is cool. And there we go, that is all the fish I need to go ahead and enchant a liar. In the end, it took 79 Temporos kills, which uh, turned out to be 345 reward points. I do feel like I got quite lucky getting both the tackle box and the fish barrel. Also picked up just over 4,000 spirit flakes. I think I'm just going to hold on to these for the time being because if I ever do need to uh, go and fish some anglers or karamb ones, these would be quite handy. Uh, but I suppose the option is there to recolor the uh, angler outfit if I want or possibly the pet instead. We shall see. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and pick up this enchanted liar. Okay, so I think just handing over the fish here is all that I need to do. And yeah, there we go. So it's a pretty niche item, um, but what it does is provide unlimited teleports to these locations. The, the useful ones for me are going to be Nata's Knot and Jatizo. Um, Nata's Knot really, it's just for the clue scrolls, which is kind of handy. I'm not sure where on Waterbirth Island it teleports you to, um, but that's probably not... Yeah, I mean, I've got the, the teleport in my house anyway, and the Relic one uh, won't be that useful because I have the sea boots, but it's a cool one to pick up. Um, as I said, pretty pretty niche item, only going to really use it for uh, clue scrolls, but nice to be able to pick that up because I wouldn't have gone for it um, without the uh, ability to get these fish from Temporos, to be honest. A medium clue from one of my Temporos caskets netted me a master. What can we get? Ooh, samurai gloves. Now that says it's a unique collection log item, but I do have a feeling that I've received those before. Um, either way, it's nice to see. I will just go and double check. I can never quite remember which items I've had from Master Clues because I do them so infrequently. Yes, unfortunately that is a duplicate, but yeah, it's a collection log slot, so that's kind of cool. 
And that is going to be it for today's episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed watching. Again, this one did take a while to get out. I've just been very busy. And at this stage of the account, as I said in the last episode, I think it just takes a little while to get the clips together. Uh, next episode, we'll be continuing on with the skilling, probably get a few runecrafting and mining levels. And again, there will be some PVM sprinkled in there as well. But uh, thank you again for watching. If you want to stay up to date with the latest videos in the series, make sure to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like. And until next time, guys, take care.